Well, a very, very good afternoon, as it is now. Yes, 12.56, and you're with um, Stu Bear from Asia World, and thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. Where are we? We're at um, RAF Milden Hall, and uh, great to um, have your company. We have GB Model Zone, Andy Vint, Andy Vint's from Scotland. And, um, hey, I'm not expecting to be live for very long. I know I've said that before and uh, been on for hours, but uh, there's not too much going on today. But uh, I just thought I'd um, pop on and say, hi, how the devil are you doing? Let you know where I am. But we do have, well, hey, we're looking at that um, E4 over there. Very nice. Now, before you ask, I have no idea <laughs> when that is going to be uh, departing. But heading our way right now, I think there's a C-17. So let's move the camera towards the uh, end of the runway. I think it's the... Uh, it's using an Ascot core sign. It's RAF. It's a C-17. Oh, and as if by, if by magic, it's in the center of your screen right now. Let's stop the wobble in and uh, get that spot on for you there we go probably zoomed in a little bit too much there so we'll keep it like that for the moment and uh, it's still quite a way out uh, I don't know if it's staying in the circuit or whether it's just popping by to say hi and then bugging off out of here we don't know but um, it's always worth um, hitting the button as I'm here in my shorts in the t-shirt and uh, it's a beautiful day and uh, I got down here around about um, 11 o'clock this morning. So it's great to see so many people just, um, hey, this is totally without warning that I was going live. And uh, so you must be getting these uh, notifications because uh, I never know when I'm going live. If you have just popped along, don't forget, make sure you do the uh, subscribe to Asia World because then you will know by the notifications when I go live because that's what it's going to be for the next uh, few days if we have any action I'll um, hopefully go live for you and also anything that we actually miss I'm recording as well I recorded a couple of movements earlier today so uh, we'll um, possibly have a look at those in a short while I'll go pretty quiet in just a moment thank the Lord hallelujah okay I'll go quiet in just a moment so you can see and hopefully enjoy this uh, RAF C-17. Actually, it was buzzing over the top of Julie not too long ago.
So what's he going to do? Is he going to stay in the circuit? We can always hope. And meanwhile, let's have a quick look round and uh, so you can see what we have here at uh, Mildon Hall at the moment. There we go. There's a Osprey in front of that uh, E4 over there. Let's move around. Some more Ospreys. No action from them at the moment. They have done some engine checks earlier right about an hour ago so I'd have thought probably later this afternoon they'll be probably going up and uh, you never know this evening we might get some uh, of those beautiful um, sunset shots if the sun's still out it's uh, still a really really beautiful day here at the moment it's a little bit cloudier than it was a few clouds but um, wow the temperature is really warm it's about 26 degrees well at least it was when I arrived let's um, just move out further along you've got another c17 over there and towards the very end of, i spy another one so it's plenty of c17s for obvious reasons at the moment i'm sure that's uh, right let's have a look of the um chat room aha hey good news it looks like it's staying in the circuit so we'll probably get a couple of passes of that and what i'll do before i get to the chat room Let's uh, move this around, see uh, just before it disappears behind those trees, and then it'll pop out the other side. We'll get it for a couple of moments, and then we'll line the camera up at the end of the runway when it's ready to come back in. And that will give me a chance to um, say hi to a few people. And uh, hey, as always, great to have your company. Hope you enjoyed the Friday show, and uh, if you missed it, certainly watch that back. It was... Um, they're like a good old mixture of uh, different aircraft. We certainly had some variety. And not just aircraft, we had those hot air balloons. And when I say hot air balloons, yeah, the ones with the fantastic shapes and what have you, and uh, what else? The night glow and fireworks coming from the aircraft, definitely worth uh, checking out. That was Friday night live from the um, edit studio but this week if i can get something together in time it'll be live from the from the edit van yes we'll call it that okay let's have a look at some settings on here let's turn that down a little bit go down that's too low down on that one there we go I think that's better so sensitive these microphones I tell you but at least they've got good wing gags on but of course the sounds not going to be um, quite as good as in the studio with that uh, posh microphone <laughs> posh mic <laughs> so uh, I'm turning porkies <laughs> it's a £7.99 microphone, really, from um, Aldi. <laughs> I'm only joking. So right, it's a joke. We've got Darren. Hiya, Darren Howell. That's really kind of you. Look at him. Hey, Darren, he's put a really kind donation. Hey, well, Darren, I can't promise I'll be on for too long today, OK? Because, um, I say, I don't want you just looking at um, paint drying, but never fear... Um, I will certainly be on and off throughout the day and hopefully um, into the evening because, um, hey, it's light. It's light until after 10 o'clock and uh, we may get some nice sunsets. Good. Oh, it's got to be evening time. Um, so a good evening to Sleepy Spider over there in Western Australia. Um, Marjoline, nice to see you as well. We've got Chuck. Hiya, Chuck. You're right, Chuck. We've got Ina B, Alice and Boas. Of course, Julie Julie is with us, Jake Jackson. And who else have we got? Let's, oh, we've Laura. Hi, Laura. Andrew, Austin. Michelle. Jim, Andy V. I'm sure people near me think I've gone start raving mad. Well, hey, that happened a long time ago. <laughs> me talking to myself. Right. 
let's have a look. I think, oh, there you are. So we'll get that uh, one more time for you. That was a nice close circuit, wasn't it? Hey, keep that up all day. You'll make us happy. Make Darren happy. He's, he's really enjoying it. Thank you, Darren. I really appreciate that, my man. Photo for you. How the devil are you? Good to see you in the chat room. Thank you. I'll keep you posted as to what he's uh, actually doing. Wow, it really is one of those super hot days. What a weekend it's been here in the uh, United Kingdom. <laughs> it has been so hot yesterday. Wow. So I um, hope if you are in the UK or wherever you are, I hope you've had a fantastic um, weekend and uh, whatever you're going to be doing this week. We've got Dickie McVitie. Hiya, Dickie. Photo for you. Yeah, we'll give you a mention. We've also got... Who was that? Um, DB Miss... Okay. DB. Hiya, DB. Yes, we'll make it easy. Just call you DB. You know who you are. Donald. How the devil are you? Dave A. We've also got Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Good to see you, as always. Marjolaine, how are you? Andrew Austin. Hi, Andrew. Hello, he's saying. Jake Jackson. And I think it's Uki Chiza, I believe. But, um, hey... You just have to. <laughs> I can't guarantee it. My eyes are rubbish, I tell you. I've got the wrong glasses on again. Right, let's have a look. Is that C17 staying in the circuit? Hey, everybody's here sunbathing away, putting the um, suntan lotion on. That shows you, hey. Yep, stayed in the circuit. Looks like it's going round for one more turn. So, um, Gentleman just to the um, right of me, he's come over from uh, all the way from Chester today, just for the day. I'll just get his name. Well, what's, what's your name? It's Stuart. What's, what's your name? Stuart. Oh, hey, well, Stuart here as well. Well, well Stu Bear, actually. So, S Stuart over there. If I move the camera, does it matter if we get you on? <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> he's sunbathing, I tell you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make re any references to uh, creatures on the beach. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we'll probably say hi to Stu in a minute. His uh, well, Stuart. See, he, he does it the posh way. He's from all the way from Chester. So good on him, eh? Let's have a look. Where's that C17? Oh, I am. Um, did spot it sort of heading downwind. Oh, um, 
Let's, let's have a quick pan round so uh, you get an idea of what it's actually uh, like down here. There we go. Yes, as you can see, we're down at John's Field, right up against the uh, fence. And uh, there you go. You see, they're all sunbathing. So that's Stuart. Give us a wave, Stuart. There we go. A hey, t-shirt off. He's got a pint of juice over there, keeping well hydrated. Not a problem. So if you've got the cloudy weather wherever you are, uh, you know, just just make you feel a bit jealous, you know. So get yourself down to Mildenhall. It's going to be nice. Um, oh, it's going to be beautiful for the next uh, two weeks. No. Looks like the weather's going to change around about um, Wednesday, but um, we'll see what happens. What's the saying? We always say you've got to be in it to win it. So uh, we're down here and um, I certainly uh, hope we bring you a little bit of um, action. Here we go. Let's have a look on the uh, approach right now because I can see it's keeping it nice and uh, tight. Almost as tight as um, <laughs> somebody's wallet. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mention anybody's name. Absolutely not. As, as per, as usual, I go nice and quiet when it gets close enough to be able to hear this uh, RAF C-17. Hey, no doubt some of you are following this on those um, 360 radars or whatever radar system you actually use. So I've got the headphones on, so I'm probably talking louder than driving all these folks crackers. So I do apologise to them. That's why I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal. Instead of giving it the mamai. <laughs> As we do in the studio. It's a good job I've got a detached house. <laughs> Can you imagine? Anyway, let's drop the camera down a little bit. I'll go quiet. Enjoy, see, hear. Don't forget, share the video. And away she goes. We'll um, see what happens on the next one. We'll let you have a look at that for the moment. Oh. Over at East Mids this weekend. Oh, Saturday. It was really busy. Um, if you like your jumbo jets and a few of the East Midlands Airport on Saturday, you'd have had a real treat, I think. Um, from my bit of sunbathing, I think I um, noticed about three jumbos taking off. So, hey, there could have been even more than that. Okay, so it looks like our C-17 is um, heading back to Bryce Norton, heading back home. And let's, um, but I can... See, these microphones, they are so sensitive, they pick up every sound. And uh, I can't actually hear the sound. It's like there's probably an APU running from the uh, Ospreys, which I can hear possibly on the headphones. I can't hear it with my normal ears. So they're really <laughs> they are quite powerful. And um, Dave A. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Well, thank you very much. That's re really kind of you. Dave H says, loving these random pop-up streams. It certainly is going to be random for the next um, probably hey, maybe 10 days. And then after that, um, over the... Um, so for the next 10 days, then I'm hoping to bring you something quite special. Round right about the um, weekend of the 20... I think it's about the 25th of June. But um, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we uh, when we come to it. So thank you very much for um, saying that there, um, Dave. We've also got Mike B. Trying to get up to date with the chat room. See who's there. Steve, hi, you, Steve. Shadow. Hello to you as well, um, Terry, Karen. As you can hear, lots of, well, you might not be, no, you can't hear it, can you? Of course you can't, you can't hear the radios. But uh, lots of people down here, obviously they're listening to the radios and what have you. No, it's not the air band. No, it's the test match. They're listening to the test match, that's what it is. Of course, ambient sound, you pick it up. <laughs> Where is she? Scanning through the chat room. Really appreciate all the messages that uh, come in on the chat room. It's absolutely brilliant. It always bowls me over. You're, you're brilliant, everybody. And there she is, Michaela, Michaela Marshall, Justin Waddington, Mark Webbo, Mark, what's it like? What's it like back home, my boy? Is it okay? Beautiful morning when I set off from um, East Midlands Airport, but um, I think they tell me it started clouding over over there. I think it's sort of heading over from the uh, from the west. And, uh, hey, later this week, yes, tomorrow's supposed to be good. Wednesday, over here, it's supposed to be an absolute scorcher. But then it's, um, well, of course, as it always happens, what happens? You get the thunderstorms. So expect that from um, after Wednesday or maybe Wednesday night. Hey, that'd be spectacular, wouldn't it, hey? What does he say? GB model zones. So, how long does it take to get down to Mildenhall then, Stu? Um, well, I don't go very fast, you know, in the um, Bearmobile, you know, uh, with all that kit on the um, bike and what have you. you know, it's, a, it's a fair old jaunt, you know, it's about 120 miles. So, um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm in the big Bear, Bearmobile today and um, I've had about I think it was about two and a half hours. Actually, I was um, I was really lucky today because just after I joined the motorway at East Midlands Airport, around about 10 minutes later, they were saying there was um, like um, at least an hour um, of traffic. So I just got on just in the nickless of time. So, uh, and then um, we turned off, went along the A14, because further down near Northampton, there was another one hour delay. So I was quite lucky today. Um, didn't uh, get any of it. Well, I really appreciate everybody that's uh, popped in and also for the kind donation. That's absolutely wonderful. But um, don't forget, if you've just come along to this actual uh, live stream party, Asia World Roadshow, well, in a field, um, by all means, please subscribe. It's absolutely free to um, subscribe, free to put messages in the chat room. Hey, we're free as a bird. So, hey, please do that and hit the notifications because it's, that is going to be your 
friend over the next, um, well, hey, throughout the day, because I shall be coming and going um, in and out, up and down, whatever you want to call it. So Stubert will go live when we get some more action, okay? Before I do go, I'm going to um, zoom into the um, Ospreys over there, see if there's anything flicking our way. Any lights? I don't think so. He says, but uh, you see what always happens. I always say, right, that's just about it. We'll see you in an hour or whatever. And then we soon get some action. There is actually lights on those um, Ospreys over there. The rotors aren't turning yet, but I'm not gonna let, you know, just look at uh, paint dry because um, there's nothing worse than that. That's why, as I said, don't forget, make sure those notifications are working and I will be back with you just a little bit later, okay? I'll keep the camera pointed in that direction for just a little bit longer, okay? So, but um, I'll probably be going offline in um, a short while, okay? So, don't forget, we will be back with you just a little bit later in the day. Thank you, Dickie McVitty. You see, he's watching on his big telly. And you can see um, two of those Ospreys have actually got the lights ablazing, flashing away. Okay, so I'll let you... I'll keep it on there just for the moment, but uh, we'll probably be going offline very, very soon. Okay, but hey, feel free to keep on having a chat in the chat room. I'll be back with you very, very soon, okay? Hi to Jessica and Owen Pohl and everybody else. Oh, Keith B. No, they've missed Keith. Steve. Oh, that's nice of you there, um, Karen. She says, hey, yep, stay safe to write. Always, hey, I'm always safe, you know. Look after myself, the bear. I've got a fridge full of stuff. Oh, hey, strawberries, which are nicely, um, they were freezing cold uh, first thing this morning, out the fridge. They've got just perfect on my table, so I'm going to have a few of those strawberries, you know, sit down, put my feet up, have a beer, you know, whatever, and enjoy the afternoon. But I'll be back with you very, very soon, okay? I shall keep um, that stream on that going just for a little bit longer, just in case, okay? But uh, I'll come back for a chat in about um, five minutes, and if we don't get any action, then I will um, close the stream and hit the live as soon as um, we get the action again. Okay, Let's talk to you in a short while.
Still live at the moment. Yeah. I'll, I'll just keep this side off. going on. <laughs> I'm glad I kept the uh, stream going for you guys because um, one of the guys just a bit further back informs me that uh, one of these Ospreys is going to uh, taxi out, take off and stay in the pattern for um, I don't know how long but um, as I said that's what normally happens down here. I'll say right okay yep. I'll close the stream, but um, hey, we'll, we'll um, keep it going for a little bit longer because you're going to see an Osprey very, very soon. And what a patient lot you are. You're incredible. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And if you've never seen one of these Ospreys, wow. You're going to love it. So uh, stay with us. And especially if, well, that's what he says he's going to do. He's going to stay in the circuit. Whether it's just one, I don't know. We'll, um, whether it's just one circuit, who knows? We will find out. Fallen Drift Gaming and Cars says, Hi, a very, very good afternoon to you from Stubert. That's me. Stubert in the chair from... Um, REF Mildenhall. You see, you noticed there was a pause there because uh, I automatically went into uh, auto mode. <laughs> Nearly said uh, where I normally am down at East Mids, but no, we're on the road. Took the show on the road and uh, hopefully we'll uh, bring you some action very, very soon. Um, 
I suppose one of the good things about these things, uh, you can always just rewind back. We've had a couple of C17s, um, actually, one take off. To, oh, well, there was three took off this morning. I captured one, and then there was another one that came into land, and then you had that other C17, the RAF C17, that we had around about 15 minutes ago that stayed in the circuit, did about three circuits or maybe more, and then... He's gone off to uh, Bryce Norton, but, um, that's, as normal with these um, live streams, uh, you know, these moments of a uh, little bit of action, then it goes real quiet. But I'm hoping to bring you, there you go, rotors are turning right now. There's Kev giving us a wave. Hi, hey, Kev, thanks for the wave. Give you, there you go, in front of the, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> thank you. Also, Shane Smith, Marjolaine. Thank you, oh, Dickie McVitie. There you go. He's certainly watching it closely. As you can see, the rotors are moving. And as soon as the aircraft starts moving, I'll move the camera and uh, you'll see that. But uh, while I'm um, going through the chat room, if you'd like just to say hi to somebody, certainly by all means put a message in and uh, I'll say hi to them right now we've also got plain crazy well you're in the right place mr. plain crazy well there we, you see I was just saying hey if you've never seen an Osprey before and uh, Andy Vint he says oh, this is my first time seeing an Osprey well I'm sure you you're gonna enjoy this Wendy, Wendy. Hiya, Wendy, Wendy. And I mention it quite often, don't I? Don't forget, if you just um, popped along and literally stumbled across Asia World, where have you been all my life? I tell you, hey, we really miss you. And um, don't forget, it's absolutely free. To subscribe to Azure World, free to put the messages in the chat room, and if I see them, I will do my best to say hi to you. Sometimes it gets a little bit busy. Um, Pedro, hiya, Pedro. We we're making uh, Karen jealous a little bit earlier when I was talking about strawberries. That I noticed. Yes, I read your message just while I was um, sitting down in the um, edit van and. Uh, as I was um, eating those lovely, hey, they're getting nice and warm now, those strawberries, I tell you. Right, roads are turning, not moving yet, but I don't think it'll be too long. Thanks, Jim. There's a nice bit of uh, information for you. Jim Gemmell says, the E4B was the first 747 to use the General Electric engines, if I recall rightly. So thank you. See Michaela, she's brilliant. She says hi to everybody that pops in. What a what absolute superstar you are. Thank you very much. And thank you everybody to, uh, for um, just chatting amongst yourselves. While I just took that um, quick break while well, you listen to the sound of the Osprey and also the Skylarks now how many have we got actually powering up is it just the one I th think it is isn't it You know, they said it would um, send me blind one day, and uh, I feel like I'm going that way at the moment because uh, <laughs> I've got the close-up glasses on, and I'm still, I'm still struggling to see. There we go. What have I just done? That's better. We should be. Um, yes, it's okay. I just want knocked one of the uh, dials, so for a moment. 
you probably thought you'd gone deaf for a minute in your um, left ear. Well, that's a really... That is so thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. Look at that. Fallen Drift Gaming and Cars. It's put a really kind donation into the uh, chat room. You know, it really... It's so kind. It, you know, I can't um, thank you enough. And everybody else that's in the past put donations in. I was feel. Oh, I'm, I, can, I do appreciate it so much. Is it moving? I can certainly hear the um, engine note changing. Billy J. White, thank you. It says um, all three are on the uh, APUs. It'd be great, wouldn't it, eh? If we had uh, several of the of them going up, staying in the pattern, and um, it will find out. Here we go. Let's start to get this for you then. You're absolutely right um, there, young man. Yes, the, um, we have lights ablaze on the other Ospreys as well. Well, it was certainly worth staying um, live for you then, wasn't it? Let's get that nicely in focus as well. I think we're about there. That looks okay. Sakari, saying good morning, good morning to you. Here we go. There we go. So for, was it AJ? I'm not sure. He said they'd never seen one before, but uh, whoever it was, there we go. You get to see the Osprey, actual real time, live. Well, I say real time. If you're watching it now, it is. If you're watching it on a replay, where were you when we were live? Um, but yeah, say real time. There's about a 30 second delay, that's all has to upload to YouTube 
and then it just goes straight out. So normally about 30 seconds, something like that. So that's, uh, it's not bad at all. Oh, it was, was it Billy J. White? JJ Aviation TV. Hey, Jay, how the devil are you, my boy? Hope you're um, okay and uh, you've had a good weekend and you're having a good Monday. Always good to see Jay in the uh, chat room and I uh, hope you're okay. It says afternoon, everyone, and uh, a very good afternoon to you. Peter, who else? Them blades look so close together. Get that, that's who was saying that was I was Andy. Oh, it was Andy Vint, I think, that hadn't seen one before. <laughs> but again, if I'm wrong, I do apologize. Right, aha, uh -huh, okay, right, sure. looking on ADSB, that's what he uses to follow the aircraft. Lots of different systems on these um, virtual radar servers. I use 360 radar. But, um, that's because I share the data to them. Well, that, that's not the only reason, because it's my favorite. Absolutely brilliant. I really am. Um... Right, who else have we got? We've got Plane Crazy, the U-Team. Okay, the U-Team, the U-Team saying, where are you? Okay, I'm right here. And right here is RF Mildenhall, the US Air Force Base in uh, Suffolk. Where those fantastic, uh, you'll see them. Um, there's, I believe there's some out flying. What are we talking about? The tankers. It's where the 100th Air Refueling Wing is based, together with a few other um, units that are down here. Here, look at that. Now, is that one or two? It looks like we've got two Ospreys. Um, For that so uh, you see that's great good timing hey we were going to go um off air but uh, i'm really pleased that uh, we stayed with you i'm remaining a little bit quieter than normal today not doing my wolfman jack at the moment because see there's lots of people here and they probably think i've gone stark raving mad as i said talking to myself there's nothing wrong with talking to yourself you know I was out cy cycling one day and um, it was near here just near Newmarket and there was a guy he was having a conversation with a tree you know <laughs> it was like a two way conversation I couldn't believe it If you've just popped along, so there we go. You've got those, uh, another couple of Ospreys, whether they're just doing engine runs, I don't know, but look at that little beauty, hey? Now, wouldn't we like to get that taking off? I can't guarantee, I, it doesn't look like it's going to be moving today. Knowing our luck, it'll probably go sometime in the middle of the night, but I will keep my eyes and ears open for you. And if I do get a chance to film that, or even do a live show for you, I will do my best for you, okay? What a nice guy. What a nice guy this Stu Bear is, see? Right, shall we move the camera? Shall we? Yes, we will. To the other end of the runway. Hope you're not getting too dizzy. Somewhere we have that Osprey, which... He said he was going to stay in the circuit.
there we go it's all parked up um we'll keep our eyes on the others if they start um moving i'll do my best to uh try to catch them in time So this Kari was also 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 was also asking where we are, and it's um, you've probably heard me say by now it's um, Mildenhall, Mildenhall, mate. There we go, and it's in uh, Suffolk, not too far from Barry St Edmunds, which um, he wasn't too happy about when they buried him. Yes, it's the um, it's the E4. It's known as, I mean, yeah, it's a jumbo jet to us, isn't it, hey? But yeah, it's uh, known as the E4. And uh, if you want to get more info on that, just uh, just Google it. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to say here and now what that particular aircraft does. So Google it, and you'll find out all the information that you want. Just Google E4, the um, US. Air Force follows the president around. There we go. Can you get the reg? There you go. There's your registration. Four zero seven eight seven. So Google that, and you'll find out everything you need to know. To right, Darren. I was very pleased to see it's still here. Here we go, another Osprey. Not the same one, different one taxiing out and uh, keeping my eye also on the other one. Anyway, let's get this now. Now he was much lower. <laughs> right, let's see what the others, aha, and the other one is uh, taxiing out right now. So let's follow that one as well. And hopefully they'll, um, looks like they're just doing uh, probably engine, t well, they've done the ground runs earlier this morning, right about an hour or so ago. So now they're just going round and uh, Obviously, just doing some tests in the uh, circuit. And maybe whether they're going to be flying tonight, flying tonight, whether they're going to be flying this evening, I've no idea. It's one of those things. But um, certainly, at some point um, this week, I'm absolutely sure we'll get some night flying for you to be able to see the um, Ospreys. And you never know, we may get some of those beautiful sunsets that um, I absolutely go crazy for down here. If you've just literally popped along and uh, thank you for joining us, you're with uh, Stu Bear and it's um, Air Show World and don't forget, do the subscribe and make sure the notifications are working because we'll be live at any, any time. And also, if you're into your um, Facebook, anything like that, uh, the uh, Julie and the gang, they set up a Facebook group where you can um, post all sorts of different things. It doesn't all, always have to be about aircraft. And um, that's normally where you get the latest information about what's happening with Airshow World. But of course, on these occasions, when I do these um, last minute live things, so I don't have time to put them normally I put them on but of course ones like this I could be live anytime but anyway what's it called it's called Airshow World Fan Page
And as that Osprey takes off, there should be another CV22 Osprey on the approach. We just saw it for a second then, didn't we? Oh, there you are. Stop moving. Let's get you in the middle. There we go. Honestly, it's not me today that's um, mo uh, moving the cameras if I'm drunk. It's, it's, honestly, it's the pilot. There we go, we have you nicely now. I didn't realise these Ospreys were so stealthy. It's disappeared. <laughs> Wait, where's it gone? <laughs> I can't see it. Let's have a look with my normal eyes. Normal eyes? Gosh, yeah, that's a joke, isn't it, eh? As you can see, there's a bit of a hump in the, uh, the runway. No doubt, we will see it in just a moment. You can probably already see it, but I definitely can't at the moment. So where has that disappeared to? Probably turned off on the, um, one of the taxiways. I've not, uh, I can't, I'm not in earshot of any radios at the moment, so I, I can't, I don't know where he's turned off. But I do have some binoculars. Uh -huh. But I can't reach them. Oh well, whatever. We'll see it in a moment anyway. This way I need Fred the Ted. You know, he, uh, he keeps me informed all the time. But uh, no, no Fred the Ted with us uh, this time. <sighs> what a cheer. We've got Bandit99 in the chat room. Hiya, Bandit. Good to see you as well. Hey, where's that Osprey gone? Can you see it, guys? I certainly can't. Or ladies, can you see it? Anyway, let's have a look while we're waiting for the um, other one that probably will be heading our way in a moment. So there, uh, the one that went in earlier. There we go. He's finished his... Um, engine run engine test whatever you want to call it and his flight test just went round once and down and it looks like that's the same with the second one where's number three that went up we'll keep an eye out for that um, it's probably worth looking at um, one of these virtual radar servers ie 360 radar or whichever one is your preference let's have a look see what it comes up with anyway don't forget, keep the messages coming into the chat room and uh, you can have a chat with a few people and say hi, how are you doing? Doesn't have to be all about aeroplanes, it could be um, more, you know, long as it's polite. That's the important thing, hey? As long as it's always nice and polite to everybody. That's the last thing we ever want to do is um, to ever upset anybody. We certainly don't want to do that. Now, heading towards, let's have a look. So that Osprey. It's out at the moment. It's heading towards, let me get this absolutely right, in between Downham Market and March. 
heading towards Whiz Beach. So he's either just going out for a jolly or he may be going out to do some work, maybe going to, who knows, Hull Beach. That's one of the, what's Hull Beach? It's um, one of the military rangers. And also, um, there's Donanook as well. Donanook is much further north, um, probably about, um, well, it's just to the south of Skegness. And if you don't know where Skegness is, don't worry about it. It's a seaside place. It's great. Just make sure you take some binoculars. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a last look. I said this earlier, about an hour ago. But uh, we'll have a quick look at the uh, chat room. And that will probably make us decide as to what um, the Osprey is doing. Call sign Knife, I believe. Christine. Hi, Christine. Also, great to see you in the chat room. Hope you're having a good afternoon or wherever you are in the world. Whether it's morning or evening. Andy Hall. No, 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 it's not um, Air Force One. It, I mean, hey, it follows it around. Um, but, um, yes, it's just here. Um, as I was saying earlier, just um, Google, okay, E4. Carl. Okay, Carl, I can do that. Um, hi, Stu. Shout out for Phil. Phil Gormley. Phil Gormley. A very good afternoon to you. Marcus. Hi, Stu and all. Pan right. The rotors were at grass level. Oh, thank you very much. That's really appreciated. Okay. Has it um, headed back up? Tell you what, let me um, move this very, very slowly. And if you see it, just shout out as loud as you can. You never know, I might hear you. I can hear it, I'm sure. Oh, I can hear the rumbling, definitely. But I can't, I'm damned if I can see it. We'll keep it about there, because I think it's going to appear... Ah, ha! Huh. I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Let's find somebody with a radio nearby. Aha! Here it is. It's coming directly down the runway now. And there it is. There it is. What took us so long. Come on, music. Who sung that? There it is, what took us so long. Soul Group, 1983. These music questions, they're too easy, aren't they, hey?
Hey, did anybody get that music question right? Come on, there it is. Who sung that? Sound of Los Angeles, Solar. That was the record label. Easy life. That's the giveaway. Got to know that. Don't think anybody's put the answer in yet, unless um, I'm not getting the messages on time. I thank you very much. Hey, I think we've got a C-17 heading our way as well. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> there it is. Shalimar, 1983. Right, C-17 over Newark, I believe. Oh, right. It's great when somebody tells you it, isn't it, eh? Thank you. Let's have a look. 360 radar then. See what's going on with that programme. See, I'm having to keep the voice down a little bit because so many people near me. Well, not too close. They never get near the bear. So near Newark on Trent. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to find it. I can't see it at the moment. Let's go out a little bit further. A C-17. It's certainly not showing on my system at the moment. Let's see what this is. There's a hunter. <laughs> There's a hunter flying around. Uh, looks like out of um, Scampton. The only C-17 I can see is the one that was here a little bit earlier, the, um, the Ascot 809, which uh, looks like is heading back to Bryce Norton. I shall just check with um, Julie, 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 and see, right, see if um, she can give me any more information about that particular C-17. Well, let's have a look at a different, um, got several of these um, flight radars, so We'll have a quick look at another one because if that was heading this way I probably uh, would uh, keep it going just a little bit longer so you can see that actually come in to land but um, I'm not viewing it at the moment that doesn't mean to say it's not there let's have a look so just bear with the bear just a moment and um, I'll see what I can see. Hold on. Thank you, Julie. Reach 778. All right. And I'm frantically looking. Yep, um, somebody who's got a radio not too far away. I think I heard it. This bolding. There we go. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's have a look. Descending, heading our way by the looks of it. Okay then, gang, I tell you what, I'll stay with you a little bit longer, just so you can see that uh, come in and land, okay? Um, I will go back to a very strange 360 rate. There's me recommending it. Hey, 
Why is it not showing on 360 radar? That must be a glitch. It shows everything normally. It's gonna be a reason why. Thanks for putting the message in there, uh, Janet Lowe. Um, she loves the Osprey, yes. Well, glad I didn't go offline because you were able to, um, was it three or four we've seen? There's one still out and uh, that's um, heading up towards um, Hull Beach, whether it'll turn and come back, I have no idea. But um, heading our way is certainly, and thank you to everybody in the chat room for alerting um, my good self to it. We've got a C-17 heading in, yet another C-17. How many have they had today? Um, so three first thing this morning before I was here, then I saw one take off, made that four, then one came into land, five and six with the um, RVF. That we believe is headed back to um, Bryce Norton. So plenty, if you like your C-17s. We've certainly um, quite a few of those uh, knocking about. David Bridges, yep. E4, there she is, just there. Now I can zoom in a little bit, but uh, probably starts to get a little bit fuzzy. That's what happens when you zoom in too far, but there you go. We will zoom back out, make the picture look much better. There we go, that's much better for you. Good afternoon to you, Clive. Thank you for joining us. That's Clive Everly saying, Stu, Julie, and everyone. Christine, hello to you as well. We've got David Bridges. Hey, by the way, just to really confuse us, you know, we always say um, the runway's here, runway 11, runway 29. Forget it. <laughs> it's no longer runway 11 or 29. It is runway 28 and 10. Go on, somebody, ask the question. Why have they changed the runways? Why is it a different number? Go on, ask, ask. I'm sure you all know the reason why. Exactly the same thing happened a few years ago at, um, well, it happens quite often at uh, different airports. It happened at um, 
RF Waddington, they changed their uh, runways. But basically, yeah, what it is, it's because of the magnetic field just keeps on changing, changing all the time. Only by very, very small amounts. But every now and again, of course, it changes a, a full percentage. So it's now known as 28 and 10. Do you know, I will never get used to that. <laughs> so that's the reason. The magnetic field is always changing. There you go, Brian um, confirms it. So that's the reason why it's changed. You know, notice, go back several years, yeah, and um, hey, yep. Yeah, Again, the best way, Google. <laughs> but um, yeah, it confused me the first time um, years ago. I think it was probably around about 2000 and, uh, probably about 2003, four, around about that period. Waddington's um, runway changed numbers. And I went, huh? how can it be? But that's exactly what it is. And anybody that's into orienteering or, you know, um, going out using the audience survey maps and what have you with a compass, you would know all about that. And who knows? One year, <laughs> one time, many, <laughs> many, many, many years from now, you never know. North might be south and south might be north. It was all part of geography, you know, when I to the geography A level and what have you. We did all this sort of stuff. But I'm not I'm not gonna bore you by going into the full, full details. Hey, Google's your friend. And the other thing is, I've forgotten half I've learned as well. A long time ago. Matt Smith. Oi oi, oi oi. How is how was Matt Smith this afternoon? Brian Crawley Alice and Tidy Canforce I thought of him this morning. I was driving by East Mids and um, yeah, that uh, Canadian freighter was there, my boy. As I um, left East Midlands Airport this morning and headed off right here to uh, Mildenhall. It's gone a bit cloudy now, it's still very warm. Actually, it's probably the warmest part of the um, countryside. Um, over on the East Mids, they were saying the maximum temperature today was going to be about 21, round about that. When I arrived here, it was 26 degrees. It's probably a couple of shades off that now. What are we waiting? Oh yes, of course, this is a C17. That's why I'm, I'm continuing the stream just a little bit longer. So how's Alice and Tider this afternoon? Hope you're um, okay. And uh, Connie, Jazzy John, 30. What's that? Is that a rose? I think it's a rose, I'm not sure. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, it's a beautiful rose, look at that. Oh, that's nice. I love it when somebody sends me a red rose, you know? Behave yourself, Mr. Bear. What are you rambling on about? I don't know. Right, C-17, whereabouts are you? Because it's not showing on um, 360 rate. There must be a reason for that. But, um, hey, Julie, Julie, or anybody else that's got the virtual radar servers running, how far away is it? Because I haven't got any um, radio communications, so I've not got a clue where it is at the moment. I certainly don't want to miss it by just uh, rambling on. Marjolaine, Marjolaine, Chris Everly. Oh, oh hey, what's that? Who'd prefer a box of roses? <laughs> then, hey, Jazzy, these ladies, they're never happy. They're never 100% happy, you know. Now, I think when Julie says she'd prefer a box of roses, 
I don't think she means the um, ones you put in water. I know Julie, she'd want the chockies, I tell you. And don't give her the box full, she'll eat the lot in no time. She's a bit of a chocoholic. Oh no, oh is that me? I tell you what, do an experiment. Here's a good experiment for you. Go to bed with, right, a bag of Maltesers and see what happens overnight. I'll guarantee they'll be empty by the next morning. It happens every time. I've got some, oh, I shouldn't say, I've got some Maltesers with me. Hello. Hey, take care, Stuart. Great to meet you. And uh, yeah, subscribe, follow it. It's got a long trip. Hey, we've got a C-17 coming in, you know. C-17. How long? Not far away. It's just near RAF Honington. Um, but I just asked the guides on here. I think it's only about um, five minutes out. <laughs> That's Stuart. He's got a long drive. He's got to drive all the way back to Chester. That's a fair old um, fairwood hike. Took him about three and a half hours to get down here. Let's have a look. See, aha. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Going to get along with that. Let's see. No, surely. That is. Well, I'm picking up a C17. I'm picking it up now. But 10. That's miles away. Is that another one? Now, to keep you informed, and I'm sure Julie will help me out as well, I'm picking up one that's um, Reach 135. Now, I don't think that was the one that we were looking at. No, that's Reach 778. And uh, I'm sure it's not far away at all. Yes, it's not. It's at the end of the runway right now. But, you know, in that direction. Let's have a look. So in that direction, above that tower, you will see it right now. There we go. So that's worth waiting for, wasn't it? as the sun comes out and boy is that hot wow i'm not complaining i love the hot weather All the best. Cheers, Stu. A 
as he starts his car. There's been no shortage of um, C-17s um, today. And just north of London, I noticed um, another one has actually popped up. Could that be doing a short hop and heading over here? We'll have a look very, very soon. The videos you're looking at at the moment um, on Friday night, we um, hopefully will do a Friday night, like, well, we've got to do a Friday night live from the edit van, haven't we? Um, so what I'll do, I'll be doing a highlight of uh, what we uh, get this week. And do you remember, I was saying that um, I noticed there was another C-17. It just literally appeared um, on the radar just north of London. Well, it's um, at the moment, as I try to zoom in, it's near, not too far from Saffron Walden. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you, it's um, south... Yeah, not too far from Duxford. Shall I make some more sense? Make it even easier? Um, south of Cambridge. In other words, he's not very far away from where we are at the moment. But it's um, staying... Reason it's not uh, on too high. It's currently at 8,000 feet. And um, so if that starts descending, fair old chance, that one will make it yet another C-17 in here. How many? So if you like C-17s, boy, yes, Mildenhall has been the place for you today. And currently, what have we got? One, two, three. Um, I think there's about three on the ground, unless there's a few hiding on the um, northern side. Hold on, I thought this um, stream today was going to be short and um, short and sweet. Well, it's definitely sweet, but uh, yes, it's been a little bit longer than what I um, anticipated. But hey, we're not complaining about that. When I hit the live, I thought, well, shall I go live? It's really quiet. But uh, yeah, we've had a few um, movements. You've had the C-17s, you've had the C-17, the um, Ascot, in other words, the RAF. C-17 that came in the circuit for a few and also the Osprey as well. We haven't had any tankers uh, today as yet but I'm sure later we'll get a few of those. 
We've got Laura Cole. Says, hi Stu Bear. Well, that's really nice of you to say hi. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Such lovely people in the, uh, the follow air show world. But as I always say, if you're going to always make sure that it's always nice and polite. Hey, doesn't, but remember, you know, you can uh, ask most things in the uh, chat room, as long as it's polite and, uh, and doesn't offend anybody. That's okay with me. It's again to that time of day when we start talking about food. You know, but it's all fish and chips. <sighs> Christine, she is letting us know. Way back in the 1980s, she used to work at Heathrow Airport. Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, Christine, what did you do at Heathrow Airport, eh? Hey? Can you say? So I'm just a bit of a nosy devil. That's one, Chris. Yeah, he said, hey, there's a great video out there on Northlight TV of the C-17 reversing at Northfault, Northfault last week. Um, you know, there's got to be a spot. I've never been to Northfault, but um, I have seen videos there where um, I think you can look directly down the runway. And uh, I've certainly in the past, I haven't seen that video, but I have seen other videos in the past. And uh, they certainly do look quite spectacular. Um, where it looks directly down the runway. I think it was a tornado I saw one time. But anyway, but I've never been myself, so I can't. Um... My favourite place for head-on shots. And uh, I've got videos of this, if you have a look on Asia World, was, um, at, you can't film there anymore, unfortunately, but it was at um, Farnborough. And, oh, wow, it was fantastic um for 50 odd years people used to go to this particular place up on the heath um it's downwind oh yeah i tell you what oh yeah you want to be careful with a bit of downwind there julie zero one eagle hello from japan it's 25 to 11 where he is well zero one eagle Thank you so much for joining in, joining in with the chat today on um, Airshow World. As you can see, we're live. It's um, fourteen thirty-five here in uh, the UK, and um, we're in um, the county of Suffolk, which is hey, you know where we are. You don't need me to tell you, do you? But I'm going to anyway. We're US Air Force. Well, it's RAF Mildenhall, actually, but it's where the US Air Force are based. And we are so proud to have them here. Well, I, I certainly am. And most people, well, we love it. We were all devastated a few years ago when they said, uh, nope, we're moving out, guys. We're going to go. And they're going to turn this place into a, a housing estate. Oh, could you imagine it? Hey, no, no. Oh, They'd, they'd, I tell you what, they'd be gr if it happened, there'd be grown men here. They'd be crying, I tell you. And I'd probably be one of them. I just love this place. Um, Sebastian! He's in France. Sebastian, what part of France um, are you from? Or are you at at the moment? And how is it in France? Um, are things getting any better? Are you looking, are you going to try to find the Tour de France in two weeks' time? In two weeks, the Tour de France will be on. Can't wait for that. That's where I normally am at this um, time of year for the Tour de France. Well, in two weeks' time. But uh, certainly can't go this year. Ah, oh, Will, that's really kind. I always feel a bit, you know, awkward because I'm not bringing you too much um, action, really. Because um, it's the usual sort of thing at... Uh, Mildenhall, you have big gaps of nothing, but it's not been too bad, you know, we've had quite a few C-17s and the Ospreys have been bobbing about and I'm literally right up against the uh, fence 
but uh, after this I will probably um, take a break and we'll probably be back with you this evening if there's any flying this evening. Hey, Jazzy, we'll see you later. Yeah, Jazzy, get some sleep in, my man. You must be shattered. I always wonder when Jazzy sleeps. It's probably any time now. Talking about sleeping, I'm pretty sure. Mr. Sleepy Spider must be asleep by now, though, in Australia. So, Sebastian, good to see you, my man. Julian says hello Will hi Stu great stream as always thank you can I read that out another ten times and Eagle Zero One yeah we answered that question for you it's um Mildenhall So I'm just gonna hang on just that little bit longer so you can see this next C seventeen heading our way um, our great crowd in the uh, chat room ah he's in Burgundy nice do you know no matter where you are in France I will say it's nice because I just love the country so much Sebastian Tour de France is the best TV show for that you know that is and you know what I'm going to say, Sebastian, you know, half the reason I fell in love with France is because of the Tour de France. And it's, you know, you can forget about all your advertising and everything else. The Tour de France really shows France at its best. You could spend a fortune on advertising, but it would still never do what the Tour de France does. It is a beautiful country. And, uh, yes... And that's half the reason. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what's going on <laughs> with the riders. I just sit there and watch it for the countryside. It's like I've been watching the um, Tour of Switzerland um, over the last uh, five, uh, no, eight days, was it? Wow. Now Switzerland, that's another beautiful, beautiful country. You can tell the way I'm talking, I'm missing it <laughs> so much. Who knows, maybe next year we'll get to Switzerland and uh, France for sure. William Amott, RF Mildenhall. And thank you, Brian. Thank you for putting that message in. I hope I get this right. Well, you know I'm going to get the name wrong because I'm useless. Hitesh Kumar. Anan. I hope I don't miss this C-17 for you that's uh, coming in. If it is coming in, I haven't... Um, two MC-12s coming in. Okay, thank you, David. <laughs> Fast as funk. He says, I love Switzerland. Hey, but I'm biased. I live there. Oh, you're joking. Well, on that tour of Switzerland on the cycling, they showed Switzerland in its absolute purity. It looks amazing. Um, how can I explain that the valleys um, seem to be a lot... Um, uh, What's, how should I put this without offending? Because I love France, as I just said. But uh, quite often down some of the valleys in France, there's lots of industrial work going on here and there, such as uh, you know, quarries and whatever, for obvious reasons. But wow, the way it showed Switzerland, it was, the place looked deserted, apart from the odd um, airport down in the valleys. And also, they went by Sion. Is that how you say it? Sion, S-I-O-N. Um, where that airbase is, which uh, I would certainly love to go. I tell you what, if we're allowed out and about next year, I would certainly love to go. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh. so you love um, New York, New York. Well, we have a regular on here quite often, and that's our very good friend, Phil Artiste. He lives in New Jersey. So it just gives me a, just gives me a chance to uh, do that silly accent of um, mine. He doesn't talk like that. He's uh, a native New Yorker. He's got a brilliant accent, I love it. Anyway, you can see in the center of your TVs or whatever you're watching this on right now, another yada da da C17. By the way, I've got a really important announcement to make when this has landed. Okay, so I'll tell you about that in a moment. And there we have it, yet another C-17. Let's see if there's anything else on the um, approach or anything heading our way at all. I think that's possibly about it.
I don't know. Oh, can I still get the reg for you? There we go. I don't know whether that's picking it out. Let me try to get a better focus for you. So I'm asking for the registration. There you go. You should just about be able to see it. I think it was 70 something, wasn't it? Anyway, hopefully you got it that time. So last quick check on the chat room. What have we got? See if there's any new faces that have popped in. 27. Matzo, thank you for staying silent so we can hear the engines. 27, that's what I always try to do. Normally the only time... <laughs> that's why I'm doing loads of chat at the moment because... No... <laughs> What I was going to say is, normally the only time I do the chat is um, when it's quiet in between the aeroplanes. And of course, being here at Mildenhall, <laughs> there's long spaces of um, nothing. So that's why there's been quite a bit of chat today, but uh, I've been a bit quieter than normal, you know. So um, you probably didn't, didn't have to turn, <laughs> turn everything down. Hey, Phoebe Stern, what the devil are you doing? Thank you very much, Phoebe. She's put a real kind donation. I've got to say a big thanks, obviously, to everybody that's put the uh, fantastic kind donations in um, today. It's so much appreciated. I've said it many times. I never ask, and I never will. I will not ask for donations. Um, it's entirely up to you guys if you do. Yeah, it's so kind of you. So thank you very, very much. I'm just doing this because of the love of it and um, for the love of you fantastic people that are in the chat room. The friendliest bunch you'll ever find. Thank you everybody. But it is appreciated, I can promise you. So Phoebe, we we'll love you to bits. Thank you for that real kind donation. Tim Cooper, hi from Clifton Suspension Bridge, all the way over there in near Bristol. Nice one, man boy. It's beautiful there. <gasps> Christine, Christine, what are you like? Thank you very, very much. Well, hey, it'll certainly go towards the um, the diesel costs for getting down here. Um, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And I love the icon as well. Christine, love you to bits. Thank you. Lee, hi. Lee Holt, 30. You're at Mildenhall. You bet your bottom dollar I am. everyone eagle letting us know about this joint exercise okay thank you <gasps> bandit 99 it's a pleasure Stu. look at this hey there you go that's almost the diesel paid for for getting here god i love you to bits thank you andy hall i won't be at east mids for um a good couple of weeks let's hope it is a good couple of weeks because i'm going to be here um hopefully I may even go live tonight if the um, if there's any flying, and um, because it's light until gone ten o'clock. Um, but I'll be here for it's like a holiday, you know. Put the feed up, and if there's any flying, I'll um, go live for you. What are you looking at anyway? You're just looking at a blank building, aren't you? I do apologise. There we go. So lots of C17s with my eyes. I can see one, two, three, four. That's four now. And there's been loads coming in and coming out. There's still the uh, knife. Um, I don't know whether it was knife seven one or whatever it was anyway. Anyway, in other words, an Osprey. There's still an Osprey out there. And over to the left, there's that E4. Look, you can call it a jumbo jet if you like. But anyway, it's known as the E4. Probably know, want to know more information, like a few people have. Hey, Google it. You'll be surprised at that, baby, I tell you. I'd love to be able to um, get that to take off, but um, I've no idea. It'll probably go early one morning or late at night. But I will be here. I'm not going nowhere for the next uh, 10 days. Here you go from me and Pepper the Cat. And um, that's from Phoebe Stern again. Oh, Phoebe, what can I say? 
What can I say to make you love me, girl? Sorry, I'm going into Alexander O'Neill. I do apologise. Look at that. All these incredible donations. I love you all to bits. Thank you very, very much. Without sounding too, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> I, was going to, I was going to say without sounding too sick or whatever, you know. Um, but honestly... Yeah, it's, it's quite emotional, you know, when people put lovely donations like that. So thank you very, very much. Makes it all worthwhile, definitely. So we mentioned Tim Cooper, 27. Matzo, yes, we've mentioned him. Matt Smith, Steve, yeah, we've got Steve, Brian, Andy Hall, Christine, Alice and Tidy. Is there anybody that I've not mentioned today? If there is, I do apologise. Chris, hi, Chris. Oh, look at that cat. I can't show this, unfortunately. Your cat just looks like a thin version of um, our cosy there, um, uh, Phoebe. Sorry, Phoebe's just sent me a couple of pictures. Unfortunately, I'm not in the studio, so I can't show these pictures. Now, talking of Phoebe Stern, um, if you were with us on uh, Friday night for the Friday night 60 minute live show, what can we say? But Phoebe's fantastic photographs. Thank you so much, Phoebe, for sending those across on uh, um, in the week. And I featured them on Friday night together with Turbo Tim's World and also some video of, also from our very good friend James. And if you'd like to um, take part in that new feature that um, I've been doing, we call it Airshow World Followers. And it's a chance to be able to show some, um, maybe some photographs that you would like me to show or some video footage that you'd like me to show. And if you've got a YouTube channel, I can give it a mention. Give it a plug, give it a preview, whatever. Um, Bradley Penny, he's a great supporter of Airshow World, and um, I certainly like to give him a mention. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel, and he saw Air Force One at Heathrow yesterday, and he's got a video of that. So um, check it out, and you will not be disappointed. And he's a good guy, he's a good lad, and he needs, yeah, subscribe. Talking of subscribing, if you're new to this, don't forget to subscribe, Air Show World. The bell icon is your friend, especially at the moment, because it could be live any time. We're going to go off air very, very soon. Thank you for those donations. I love you all to bits. Um, and Julie, thank you so much, Julie, for all your help. And uh, keeping an eye on the chat room. But um, easy peasy because everybody's been truly wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know how to say this one. Um, I think, it's one from Turkey, is it? Anyway, Gary Reed. We say hi to you. We say hi to uh, Lucas. If you want to get your last message in the chat room, you have one minute. Okay, um, box, is it blocks something? Anyway, let's have a look what they're saying. Something, something. Let's think about the Osprey is okay. Bradley. Yep, I saw it, my man. I saw the video. So well done, Brad. I hope that video goes well. It deserves to. Thanks to and Julie. Stay safe. Um, David, Osprey is looks... That Osprey looks to be returning. Okay, thank you, David. Let's have a quick look then, 360, any second. Right, what was that um, announcement? Yes, of course, don't forget. Don't forget, Stu Bear, right, with his special, well, it's not his tea, but um, it's the tea that I absolutely love. Makes the eyeballs roll. <laughs> What's it got in it? It's got all sorts in it. It's the best tea and coffee you'll ever come across. And... Uh, it's the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company. Check them out, okay? Um, if you look at this video, at the bottom of it, um, there's a little um, drop-down thing, whatever you want to call it. It normally says more or something like that, yeah? There's a link there. 
it'll take you directly to their um, website and uh, as i said it's the kent and sussex tea and coffee company and i can assure you they do the best tea and coffee in the world and um, really reasonably priced i love anything coconut and they do beautiful gorgeous coconut tea it is the best but even if you just like normal tea oh it's not like the stuff you get off the shelf it is gorgeous they do stuff in tea bags loose leaf coffees over a thousand different types so check them out what i'm going to do i'm going to have the i said it was um one minute left in the chat room so thank you everybody christine check it out okay um because she likes her coffee you can get all different types and uh, the most important bit is because you follow Airshow World, you can get 15, one five, 15 percent off. Not just your first order, but for all your orders. And of course, you're gonna wanna know how to do that. And it's simple. You use a code, and that code is Airshow. It's all one word, Airshow, okay? Uppercase, so it's all capitals. A-I-R-S-H-O-W. Use that at the checkout. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Right, that just about wraps things up for this um, stream number one, right here at Milden Hall. You've been with Stu Bear in the chair. Hey, I'll see you maybe a little bit later today. If you're new, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get those notifications. I'll catch you. You can keep chatting in the chat room for up to about another 10 minutes. But for my good self, I will catch you later. I'm going to um, relocate back to the campsite and I'll catch you probably later in the day. May get some sunsets. Who knows? Have yourself a great afternoon and thank you so much, everybody, for being with us. Okay, 